friends, it's Miss Jordan, and today we're going to read Pablo's Tree by Pat Mora. I wonder what this book is about. I think this kid's name is Pablo, and we can see this is a tree, but what do you think is on this tree? There's some leaves, and it looks like some bells, but I wonder what else is, I don't know what these are. Let's read to find out. Pablo's Tree. I'm ready, Mama, I say. I'm ready for my birthday visit to Lito's. Hurry, Mama, I want to see my tree. I wonder if Lito, my grandfather, remembered. I wonder if he remembered to decorate my tree. I ask, Mama, did Ablito decorate my tree? Hmm. Do you decorate a tree for your birthday? Your grandfather does not forget to decorate your tree, Pablo. Do you have your suitcase? What new, to bir new birthday toys are you taking to Ablitos? Asks Mama. I've got my purple car, my book about whales, my tambourine, and my flute, I say. Every year, I spend the night after my birthday at my grandfather's house. We sit under my tree. We play with my new toys. Every year, Lito decorates my tree for my birthday visit. Maybe my grandfather forgot. Are you sure he didn't forget, I ask? I'm sure, says Mama. Please tell me, Mama, I say. Tell me what Lito put on my tree. Is it lights? Is it little pinatas? Mama smiles. Pablo, she says, don't you like surprises? Come. Let's go see your tree. As we drive along, I ask, is it little animals? Is it candy? My mom just smiles and winks. Lito, Lito, I say, I'm here, I'm here. Lito opens the screen door. His face is happy like a full moon. Lito gives my mother a kiss and a hug. Lito, I say, I brought my new birthday toys. We can sit under my tree and play with my toys all day and all night. Lito and my mother laugh. Pablo, says Lito, hugging me. Como esa mi nieto grande? How big is my grandson? I give Lito a big hug. He almost falls down. Pablo, says Mama. Cuado, be careful. But Lito makes, likes my giant hugs. Let's go see my tree, I say. Hurry, hurry, Lito. I take Lito's hands and pull him to the back door. When I see my tree, I run to it. I touch the tiny colored bells and wind chimes. Ooh, so they're wind chimes. Ooh, I say. I run around the tree, touching the bells and chimes. The wind blows and my tree jingles and rings. I give Lito another giant hug. And again, I almost knock him down, but he just smiles. Mama gives us each a goodbye kiss. We take her to her car. We put my suitcase in my room. Lito throws me an apple. We take the bag of toys out to the table under my tree. Lito plays my flute. He says, Pablo, do you remember the story of your tree? I run around and around my tree. I touch the branches so the bells and chimes ring. I shake my new tambourine. Ooh, what do you think his, the story is of the tree? One day, my mother came to this house, I said, Yes, said Lito. Your mother said, I'm going to adopt a baby. I went to the nursery down the street and bought a small tree. I said, este arro e para mi nieto. This tree is for my grandson. Your mother said, ay, papa, what if the baby is a girl? And I said, I love little girls, but this tree is for my boy. If it is a boy, he will have your name. He will be Pablo too, said your mother. Lito stops and smiles. Then he asks, what did we buy for the new baby, Pablo? You and Mama bought bottles and blankets for me, I say. Yes, says Lito, laughing. We waited and waited for the phone to ring. We waited for the words, come for your baby. I watered your tree, but I didn't plant it. I waited for you. First, I put the little tree in the front yard near the sidewalk. No. I said, this spot is too noisy for my boy's tree. 
and then you put it here in the rose garden, I say. But you saw too many thorns. Then you put my tree here. He's finding the perfect spot for the tree, isn't he? One day, says Leto, the phone rang. Your mother called. Her voice was full of smiles. She said, Papa, guess what? And I said, when do I see my boy? Your mother laughed and laughed. And she said, Papa, how did you know? I put your tree by the front door to welcome you. I washed my face and combed my hair. I looked out the window and waited for your mother's car. I went out front and walked back and forth to, on the sidewalk. Then I saw it. I watched your mother lift you out so carefully. I looked at you and you looked at me. Your mother said, hold him, Papa. Hold Pablo. You fit just right in my arms, I said. Pablo, come and see your tree. Then I said, come, let's plant Pablo's tree. Your mother held you while I got my shovel and watering can, says Leto. Carefully, I dug a hole and planted your tree here in the sun. I say, and the tree grew and grew like me. On your first birthday, said Leto, I hung streamers on your little tree. Yellow, orange, red. I carried you out to see them. And I grabbed them within my fist. I say, on your second birthday, I tied balloons of every color, says Leto. You ran around and around your tree. I lifted you up to touch your balloons. You did not let me rest. On your third birthday, you put paper lanterns on my tree. And what was on your tree last year, asked Leto. Bird cages, I say. You put tiny bird cages all over my tree. And this birthday is bells and chimes. I race around and around my tree. I touch the branches and they ring. Leto and I sit and listen to the wind. We listen to my tree. We munch our apples. I ask, what will you put on my tree next year, Lito? Hmm, what do you think is going to be on the tree next year? Lito chuckles and winks. Pablo, that is a surprise. What do you think he should put on Pablo's tree? What would you want to put on Pablo's tree for Pablo's birthday? That's something you could think about. Or if you had a birthday tree, what would you want someone to put on your birthday tree? Make sure you let me know what you would want to put on your tree, okay? Have a good day, friends. Bye.